I am going to talk to you about the importance of the enforcement atlas for businesses in the EU. My name is Haris Beidanis. I am one of the drafters of this atlas. So why, why is the atlas so important for, for businesses in the EU? As we all know, the fundamental freedoms in the EU uh, are of paramount importance for its operation. Needless to say, businesses are obviously uh, entities that are very much favoured by these uh, freedoms. It is without saying that for a, any business, any business entity in the EU to be able to fully operate, it is important that it will also be able to enforce any judgment it may have from one member state to another. Getting a judgment in a member state is something that is primarily regulated by the local law of the state in question. However, the European Union has intervened by enacting regulations which allow for the free circulation of judgments from one member state to another. Therefore, if one has in its favor a judgment in a country like Greece, this judgment can be easily enforced in other member states. And this is done on the basis of the applicable regulations. The enforcement atlas comes as a further assistance in the sense that following the issuance of a judgment in one member state and the use of the relevant EU regulation for the free circulation of such judgment from one member state to another, the next obvious step will be the actual enforcement on the assets of the defendant in that other state. Therefore, in our example, a Greek judgment may be enforced in Portugal against a defendant that has assets in Portugal. This will be done again not on the basis of the European regulation but on the basis of the local legislation of Portugal. Having said that, what we do in this atlas is that we actually map the various steps that need to be taken in any member state in relation to enforcement in that member state. So we all understand that a businessman, a businesswoman who has already a judgment in its favor in one member state, by going through uh, whatever is mentioned in the atlas, uh, it will have the opportunity to have a, a, a prima facie idea of what steps need to be taken for enforcement in a foreign member state. Of course, the Atlas is not exhaustive. The Atlas gives you, gives to businesses an initial idea of how enforcement is to be conducted in another member state. The assistance of a local professional will always be necessary. However, what we believe we have managed to do with the Atlas is to give a general diagram of what enforcement, actual enforcement means in each and every member state. Therefore, businesses will have an obvious assistance in their hands because by reading this atlas, one can have, uh, as I said before, a prima facie idea of what needs to be done in some other member state. So nothing will be done in the dark from our law. Uh, all businessmen, all businesswomen will have a tool that will allow them to choose the right person to work with them in any other member state. And in that sense, it will ease their work. Enforcement in itself is very important because it ends up to satisfying uh, a claim. 
it also acts in another way, in the sense that when everybody in Europe know that enforcement, cross-border enforcement, is possible, and there is also a tool like the MAP, the Enforcement Atlas, that actually explains to all players how this is to be done, it is quite normal that uh, this enforcement will also act as a way to persuade defendants to actually amicably resolve their case instead of fighting to the very bitter end. Because when one knows that eventually he or she will pay, uh, this person may have an incentive to try and resolve their dispute beforehand and without having to enter into all these expenses that would otherwise be necessary. So I think this atlas, by giving lucidity, by offering transparency to the extent possible, because at the end of the day it basically enumerates the steps that need to be taken and it gives a general picture, but by doing that uh, it will ease up not only the actual enforcement, but also it will give incentive to people to settle before exhausting all the measures that, that otherwise take. So for that reason I believe that uh, businesses should welcome this work. This work can be of uh, use to them and it can always be uh, what I would, I would call an initial first step uh, for satisfying their claims.